you know, what could we find in this humble little outcrop? But you might be surprised here in the, in the, um, the glorious earliest Jurassic world of the lower Mount Toby formation. You know, a nicely glaciated outcrop here, um, just popping out not too far from the Turner's Falls Dam and uh, uh, the beginning of the canal here. Um, but some things I've, you know, I've looked at a lot of this rock and I've never exactly seen ripple marks like this. These are a little different. And that's one of the great things. I mean, the geometric regularity of ripple marks is in evidence. You know, we have a waveform. And these ripples, the larger scale ripples, look relatively symmetrical. I can't see the crest going one way or another. Suggesting a lake margin, suggesting um, not flowing water, but just shallow water and waves wind wind driven wavelets um, but look at this really prominent fronding or frilling or or or, or um, overlay of of these <laughs> diagonal marks I really don't know how to interpret them I mean something is causing that I think you can see These are much shallower ripples, shallower water, smaller ripples. But down here you get these, there's a strange, it's, it's in evidence there. So that's interesting. I don't know, I don't know what to call that, but it's nice. And the sun is on it in a glorious way. Let me know if you have any ideas. And proceeding down this outcrop, this also catches the eye in a big way here. Um, it's subtle, it's slight, it's a kind of composite of context clues as well as direct visual evidence, but I think it's a dinosaur track, I really do. Just because um, you have this shallow impression here, uh, and the and the geometry just says dinosaur track. I don't know how to put it. One toe is even a little bit lower than the other. You know, even though they're smooshed out, one toe is a little bit lower, and this long middle toe is going just the right length. It looks to me like a dinosaur stepped here in some relatively soft sediment 201 million years ago plus or minus just because that's how, how old the rocks are and um, and then rain or, or, or current smoothed that um, footprint then it dried then the sun came and dried it profoundly and you can see these telltale desiccation cracks, which are in almost every surface that we find dinosaur tracks. You also find these desiccation cracks. And that's just a mark where the, 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 the sediment cracked uh, as it dried in the sun. And that's what hardened the sediment so that it kept its shape so well. But it kept its shape keeps its shape remarkably well. This really could be another dinosaur track, but you can't see a middle toe there. The, this kind of looks like the heel uh, side toes of a dinosaur. It, even these pads are, are possible, but this is not looking like that. But, but anyway, there it is. You know, in this rock, it's the size and shape of a theropod a Gralator or an Anchisaurus. 
can look that up, learn more about that. Does that look like a bone to you? Never saw it before. I don't know. Probably not. These rocks are, should have bones. They should have bones. I've never found any. Continue around here. Oh, this is nice. It's a glaciated shoulder of rock, definitely rounded by the glacier, but looks to me like right here we have some cross bedding, some beautiful glacial humps, but most of it's on the other side. This is a beautiful glacial clast of the kind we're so often finding in this world, but it's just so underappreciated. I mean, Look at this beautiful rock. Who knows where it came from? Who knows where the glacier picked it up? Probably nearby, but who, who really knows? The glacier's doing all kinds of things with it. It's scouring these beautiful grooves. I mean, nothing else is gonna do that, but the glacier, there's kind of concave surfaces, troughs on these clasts. They're, they're beautifully contoured. They're also plucked. Plucking is, is something the great glacier does. Wherever there's scouring, there's also plucking. And these are all wonderful phenomena.